it's Melissa. In this video, I am going to show you how to use PNGs and JPEGs in Affinity. So when you use Affinity Designer, you are going to likely, for Roland anyway, you are going to want to add that cut line. Unfortunately, JPEGs and uh, PNGs need to be vectorized first, and you can't really do that in uh, affinity, at least not very quickly or easily. So what happens when you bring a PNG, I'm just going to drag and drop one directly into uh, affinity here so you can see. So what happens is this, the edge of this design is actually the square. Okay. It's transparent, but it's still the edge. So let's say we try to put a stroke around that. Um, this is the roll in con cut contour stroke. So if I put that around there, what you, it's kind of tough to see. Let me see if I can increase it so you can see. So what happens is you end up getting the stroke around the edge of the image instead of the edge of uh, your design. And you likely don't want to cut a square. So if you want to contour cut a JPEG or a PNG, um, you need to, you need to vectorize it first and you're going to need probably another software program to do that. My preference, because this is where, um, I'm most comfortable is Silhouette Studio. So Silhouette Studio is very, um, it's a very powerful program. You do not need to have a Silhouette cutting machine. Um, it can import SVGs, PNGs, JPEGs, and it can export those same file types and more uh, with a one-time upgrade of $99 for business edition. So, okay, so let's pop into Silhouette Studio where we will now be able to add um, the cut line or the vector line that we need to either a PNG or a JPEG. So what we're gonna do in Silhouette Studio, I'm just going to do file open and find that same file that we have downloaded. You can see I have it a bunch of times on my computer, but the original here is this PNG. Now the PNG is gonna come into Silhouette Studio with a transparent background. This tracing process that I'm gonna show you next is the same regardless of if you're using a PNG or a JPEG. So just keep that in mind. Um, a JPEG will have like a white or some other type of background. The PNG is transparent, but regardless, we need to trace it. So uh, tracing is done very quickly and easily using this tool here on the right side called um, the trace panel. So you're just going to open that and then you're going to click select trace area and you're going to use your mouse to draw a large box around your design. So this yellow shading that's going to come in here, all you need to do is you want to increase the threshold um, uh, bar until as much yellow is added to your design as possible without yellow being outside. So basically, if you were gonna trace this as a traditional trace, anywhere that you see um, a yellow line, you would have a cut line. What we wanna do is detach the background. So we're gonna click trace and detach. Now, it's gonna look like nothing happened, but what we have now is this design that is free of its background. Obviously, it would be much more obvious if it was a JPEG and there was a background left behind, but you can see there are little pieces of your design over here from even from the um, PNG. So now what we're gonna do is select our design so that only the design is selected. This is important in case there's anything else kind of left on the, the um, design area. And we're gonna go to File, Save As. And we're gonna save to hard drive. Now this is the part that is going to require you to have the business edition um, of Silhouette Studio because when you go to format, you will now have the option to export as all of these other file types. If you don't have the business edition version, you are only going to have the option to export as a Silhouette Studio file, which is not going to work in Affinity. So pick PDF, portable document format, and um, I'm going to put it in here, use this one so we know because I have several copies on my computer already and I want you to see that it's the same one that we're working on. All right, so that's saved to the hard drive and now we can pop back over to Affinity. So, whoops, this Affinity, this design here is the one that we originally brought in and had that large, you know, square around it. We're gonna open up the PDF by going to File, uh, Open, and we will use the one that I named that said, what, are, what did it say? It said, uh, use this one or something like that, right? Where is it? Might be in here. Yes, use this one. Okay, so here's our PDF, and it's going to come up with a bunch of options. Just I just click open, so it opens in the traditional 
um, with the standard default settings. All right, so now it looks the same as the other one that we had, but there's a big difference here. And the big difference is that now we have a blue selection line around the outside edge. You see that? What we wanna do is change the stroke uh, to the roll and cut contour line so that we can do a print and cut with a contour cut line on our Roland. So we're gonna pick color, or excuse me, stroke, and then swatches, and here's our, our color. We need to use that color, and just, you can close out of that. Now, it looks, it's difficult to see on this design itself because the outer edge here is red, but if I was to increase the line weight, which I would not suggest that you do, you'll see that that border is there and it's right around the edge. So when we export this over for VersaWorks, I would suggest that you leave the line at about 0.3, um, but now you are ready to export this and then you can bring it in to VersaWorks. So you would just go to File, Export, and then again, export as a PDF. Uh, Roland VersaWorks really likes PDF. Um, so when you export this from, from Affinity as a PDF, then you can open in Roland VersaWorks. And what's gonna happen there is because we added that line, uh, the, the stroke line, the magenta stroke line cut contour, you will have those dancing ants where it's telling uh, your Roland BN20 or BN20A, exactly where to print and exactly where to contour cut around your design, okay? All right, so if you have an SVG file, it's much easier. You don't need to use uh, Silhouette Studio to create the, the uh, cut line or vectorize because it's already vectorized. But if you have a JPEG or a PNG, you will need to use Silhouette Studio um, or some other program, again, my preference is Studio, uh, to quickly vectorize by tracing and then pop it into Affinity just to add the contour cut line. Unfortunately, neither program, Silhouette Studio or Affinity, does both. Um, and there's really, even if you use something else like Adobe, again, you still have to figure out a way to vectorize uh, those images first and a lot of <laughs> it's you, you're piecing together but this is the simplest uh, fastest most effective way and definitely the least expensive way to add a contour cut line um, to a file that that is not already ready to be used in uh, Roland VersaWorks.